Hi gamers, I'm Cyber Settler, and today we're playing Interstellar Rift. And today, um, what I wanted to explain is this um, trading terminals, this wall termin um, wall trading terminals, and um, they are used to trade, of course. Um, but uh, there, there are things that we need to understand uh, when using these trade terminals. The first thing is that these trade terminals uh, work according to the economy of the game, right? So they, they are um, trading um, drones that come from uh, other stations like NPC stations. And uh, you may have seen in the NPC stations that there are these... Uh, galactic trade terminals as well and there are like these um, uh, offer and demand uh, of different materials ores and and stuff and this is what drives the like the economy in the in the game so for example here um, you can see that i set up um, a terminal each terminal has like two booths and this booth uh, will um, you can configure it to either buy or sell or both buy and sell something um, in this case I have like this uh, a Skrill Biomatter and uh, this um, silicon scrap so I'm buying I I'm selling in fact Skrill Biomatter and I'm buying um, the the silicon scrap uh, the fact that it's um, maybe it's confusing that it's displayed like that and this is because if you are a, a visitor in the station you will see this sign and you will see ah i can buy a uh, scroll biomatter here or i can sell um, silicon scrap here so that's the reason why so when you uh, set up this um, these terminals you can make the the area of the terminals uh, public so uh, any player can interact with them as well uh, but if if uh, even if you don't make this area public then drones will come and trade with you as well so in my case i'm um, selling a uh, skrill biomatter here you can see so it's it's similar to the to the terminal you are used to interact with um, like the, the functionality is similar right you can select either um, a ship or uh, your inventory to um, to buy scroll buy a matter so it's similar to these NPC stations in that sense and then um, you can buy right and here's the price 95 so currently i don't have anything in stock because the 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 currently my stock has has been sold already so here if you um you press this button here uh, with the cog then um you will see um, what's going on here right you can change the the what you are buying or selling you can set it to buy or sell or, and you can set the price and uh, additionally you can set what source is it and in this area you see the the credit units right in this case um, this terminal has this amount of credits you can add or subtract if you are um, for example in this case I am selling this Skrill but matter what it makes sense is to withdraw um, credits from here so I can withdraw those uh, um, 285,000 let's do it so you you see 285,000 credits the new value will be zero when I confirm boom I get 285,000 credits so now I have 2,085 credits additionally. Um, and currently I'm buying um, silicon scrap. The demand is 7,704. Um, 
I will set up a new uh, a new terminal here, so so you can see the process. So I will um, I want to buy um, silicon scrap. Uh, sorry, zinc scrap. I want to buy zinc scrap now. Um, I'm say I'm buying it. Okay. It sets automatically a price. I imagine that this price is um, calculated um, according what the, the, the prices in the system are. You can change it, and then you can. Um, then you, I would have to add money here, because otherwise the demand will be zero. So I will add money, and I will say um, I will add two hundred thousand, and this is. Uh, a similar value to what I got from the Skrill biomatter. That would make sense, right? That, that it will sell something and buy something, um, and then the the account is balanced there. And that's it. So now uh, there's a demand. And if I go back, oh, what happened? Ah, of course, I have to select the source. Now, select the source is just uh, to say where it should be in this case where um, should it be kept um, and I will select I guess this one yeah that's it so now um, this the source is uh, some cargo um, container or cargo pad that you have in your ship and now it's set Uh, what's going on? Oh, that's strange. Okay. So that's that. That's that. And... Now, okay. Now you see that the demand is 40,000 scrap. This is calculated based on the the money i um i ah uh, but it's also selling no i want just to buy there so now you see the demand is uh, 40000 and i'm just selling this this item and there you go it's set and when and when um some um trading drone comes then um the if he sells um to me the 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 sink scrap then yeah, i will find it stored in that um cargo container i selected from the from the list so that's it there's nothing else to it like you withdraw money from it you um deposit money on it depending on if you want to buy or sell um you select what you want to to buy or sell and you select the source like where where the resource should be taken from and where the resource should be uh, put in that's it so i hope you um found this um video useful and hope to see you in the next one this is uh, cyber settler signing off